babalik ang PTV Sports. Hindi lang magaling sa pampalakasan, kundi pati na rin sa paggawa ng vlogs. Mula sa kanilang training tips, behind the scenes moments, at syempre, mali sa personal na buhay. Itong ating mga atleta, masusubaybayan natin yan dito sa sports vlog. Kaya panoorin po natin ito. So it is Monday today and it is the day of my flight. I had to like pack my stuff and I was quite tired. Dami kong gamit pala na kinuha from my dorm. I'm a very OC person so I had to like organize everything. I refuse to let it sit there for a long time in my bed. I now pack my stuff. Ito siya. Hindi pa siya tapos. So I have the luggage tapos yung uniform nilabahan ko kagabi. So anyway, today I have a quiz which I just finished a few minutes ago. Mukhang okay naman siya for physiology. I have a report sa anatomy later afternoon and also another quiz. Hopefully after that, okay na ako. And then I'll just catch up on the schoolwork after I get back from Cambodia. It is now 12.30. Call time namin is 4pm. Aalis kami dito sa house 2.30. Uh, you know how Philippine traffic can get. And I am just finalizing the last few bits to put into my luggage. I am overanalyzing it. So I'll show you guys. Kinlose ko na tong part na to kasi okay na yan. This is the main. And then ito, I'm still thinking what I should put in here. Also, it's so hot here in the Philippines. We're good to go. I'm gonna take a shower after I finalize everything. And yeah. Hi plug! 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 Hi Hi, so nasa immigration na kami. Waiting for our flight. 6.20 pa lang. And yung boarding namin is 9.15. So we have to wait here for 3 hours. My teammates are there. Ayan. Nag ML here or something. And katabi ko yung coach ko. Yay! In Cambodia! Touchdown! It's a whole street of different countries. Um, nandito na ako sa Athletes Village. It is a room for, I believe, nine people. Yung Athletes Village, hindi pa daw siya sa tapos. That's why it's like not furnished. And then this is the first bed. This is the second bed, the third bed. And then yun yung second room for the three beds. And then there's another room here, which is my coaches. Ito yung sa isa kong teammate. Konti lang kami. So, wala naman silang choice. They gave us like a big room. Malayo yung venue. Walang traffic. Layo nun. Ayan yung teammate ko. Dumating na siya. Pagunta mo kayo Ha? Later pa. Yeah, so dumating na yung teammate ko. And she closed the door. Parang pumayot ako. Anyway, I'm gonna take a rest. Kasi I'm so tired. Also, I I got the SIM card. Walang wifi dito. So you have to get a SIM card. That's so important in Cambodia. Okay guys, so I am gonna go down. As Jamie Lim, my close friend sa karate. She came here like all the way from her mom's hotel to visit me. So I'm gonna go. Tapos we're gonna have lunch together in the cafeteria. And I'm so excited. Kasi ang tagal ko na siya hindi nakita. Like, cause she took her masters in London for a year. And she decided to go to SEA Games. And she won. So I'm so excited. And I'm I'm so happy for her. Okay, let's go. Ayan si Jones na. Ayan yung mga kalaban niya. Nasaan na siya? May nakarecord na to? <laughs> go everyone. Hello guys. So ayan, dito kami. <laughs> tatlo. Uy, tingin dito. Ikasama ko si Maki. Uy, kag. Tingin mo na dito. Ayan guys, manunod kami ng laban ni Katorton. Chai with Maki. Let's go baby. <laughs> Uy, moso pre oh. Moso. <laughs> Smo sa the best kit Orton. Ano man sa black box? Let's go. Siya na po ang magiging sunod na Sigen Champion. Okay, Suporta niyo po kami sa mga susunod na laban. <laughs> Kuya Len, ni Hao. <laughs> no, one. One, three, uh, one. Be 
surprise. My, I'm back in my house. Um, let me just explain. I wasn't able to vlog that much. I'm not gonna lie. Maraming issues. I also had to take care of my teammates. It was an experience. My leadership skills were tested. But yeah, I'm back in my house. Finally finished my campaign for SEA Games. And I won gold. Wala lang. It's really weird and crazy. Um, I still can't believe I won gold. I didn't really expect I would win. Also, my dog chewed off this one. My dog chewed it off because when I got home, I dangled it for my grandmother to see and he jumped and bit it. So, there it is. <laughs> crazy. Um, I don't know. For some reason, I kind of experienced the same pressure I did back in 2019 when the Sea Games was hosted here in the Philippines. It's mostly because I just do my jumps really good, really perfectly, and that I do a really good form. So aside from like worrying about the backlogs in med school, because an excuse naman ako ng one week, but also I had to like try to push my thoughts away and not think of yung backlogs ko sa med school and not think of other people's expectations of me. Kahit na I was chosen to represent my country, Country. Siyempre, it's really hard on your mental health to like keep expecting to win. But I am so so grateful. I'm just relieved that it's finally over. Oh my god. Like I can finally breathe and I can finally focus 100% on med school for a short bit before I start training for the Asian Games. Woke up just now. 2.30. I started chatting my med school friends. Ano yung kailangan kong deadline. So medyo marami siya. And we are gonna do that today. What I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna try and find the meal and order order some food because I think I deserve some food. Also, my birthday is coming up and I'm really excited. <laughs> 